The British public have voted what they think to be the greatest scientific innovation of the 20th century, and the award goes to Alan Turing who invented the universal machine. Now, if you don't know who Alan Turing is, you need to check him out. The guy's incredible. He basically single-handedly saved Britain from Nazi Germany in World War II when he infiltrated and cracked the secret codes that were going around on what was known as the Enigma machine. He saved the country. He's an incredible guy. And he also invented this thing called the universal machine. Now, the universal machine is basically the blueprint for every single modern day computer that we have in the world today, from laptops to personal home computers. None of them really would have happened without Alan Turing and this universal machine. So you can see why he won the vote. Some people try to get him on a 10 pound note recently, which is actually an interesting process. You can get on a 10 pound note. All you need is 100,000 people to vote and say they think you're important enough to be on there. 10,000 to get on an initial list, and that list is quite large. It includes people like uh, Captain Scott, Jane Austen, uh, Terry Wogan. They're all on the list. But if you get 100,000, you can make it onto a banknote. Unfortunately, Alan Turing only got 30,000 votes. So he's not made it onto it yet, but now he's won this award. So maybe he'll get the recognition that he actually deserves. There's an interesting story about how he died as well. Uh, the government, found out that he was gay. And they actually, it was, it was illegal to be gay back then, and they did something horrible to them. They gave him chemical castration. It's a horrible story, and he was incredibly depressed. He became a recruit, it ruined his life. He went home one day, and he took an apple, he injected some cyanide into it, apparently, and when they found him on his deathbed, he was there, and laying next to him was an apple with a single bite taken out of it. Now, Although they strongly deny that this is the case, it's interesting to note that the logo of Apple computers is a single byte taken out of an Apple. Possibly a little nod to the father of modern computers, we don't know. They actually do actively deny it, but it's a nice little coincidence. He's not the only hero to be celebrated this week in the news. Also, uh, you may have seen there was a Challenger documentary on BBC. That was about the story of the Challenger, which went up to space and exploded on its way up. A very tragic story, but the man who found out why the explosion happened, Richard Feynman, uh, was celebrated kind of all over the social networks this week for the job that he did in discovering how the Challenger actually blew up. He's an incredible guy. It's really good to have all these names back in the news because you kind of recognize how awesome the science world is. Richard Feynman, he used to do all his work in strip clubs. He'd just sit there doing his calculations on strip clubs and he used to play bongos. He'd often play bongos during the lectures that he did at universities. That's a really cool scientist to have. And it's great to see that the public are finally getting to learn who he is and getting more exposure to these type of people. We also very sadly lost one of the greatest heroes of exploration this week, George Lowe. George Lowe was a part of the original 1953 expedition that went to Everest. It was the one in which Hillary managed to summit uh, the mountain for the very first time. Uh, and he was the only other New Zealander along with Hillary on that trip. And I think it's great because New Zealanders, they just deliver the goods all the time when it comes to sentences, when it comes to actions. Like Hillary, when he was up on Everest, when he was asked what's the first thing you did, he said, took a piss. That's so cool. That is so cool. Most other people would say something else, and he, he, I took a piss. Then he listened to some Belgian pop radio, and then he took a photo of Tenzing, and they got the hell off. But when they got down, the first line, the line that immortalizes his whole venture, is, well, George, we knocked the bastard off. And that George in that sentence is George Lowe, who we tragically lost. The final surviving member of the Mount Everest expedition died this week. It's very sad. Um, interestingly, though, the first thing that Buzz Aldrin did when he landed on the moon was take a piss as well. I think that's a common thing of people going to new lands. They kind of, I don't know if it's kind of like a dog going on against a lamppost. I'm not sure if there's a connection of kind of what they're trying to do there, but they both needed a piss and both had it. I think we should have a collection of all the greatest pisses in history on newfound lands that we don't yet know about. History historians get onto it. There are a lot of people out there I know who think that the internet is entirely filled with absolute rubbish, but I'm not one of them. I think there may be some good stuff in there, and if you subscribe, in the future we will be finding the bits that matter. We are your filter, if you like.